They could shut down any product line in this country, right? You're well, making mayonnaise that could shut it down. You're making coins that could shut it down. Well, think about it. On average, it's about 13 to 1,500 companies being held to ransom in a year. Now, this is the good case. The good case is saying, you pay me, I've got a help desk, I've got people helping you, I'll treat you, teach you how to move the money to me, and I'll help you fix your problem so you don't get attacked again. They provide customer service on that front. So I know they've got... This they've is the paid. good case. Right. The bad case is they get a superior order from someone saying, don't take money, let them stay shut. That right. creates economic chaos. But and that's we, why we have to be worried about these ransomware attacks turning into chaos-creating events. Right, but let's step back for a second, because you're the leader of the industry. Right now, if you pay ransom for a kidnapper, the government's going to go after you. You're not allowed to do that. That's yes. the federal law. Yes. Do you think if the feds were to go after someone who paid ransomware, it would make it so that people would know you got to go to Palo Alto, this thing's getting too dangerous? Yeah, look, I think there are a lot of CEOs I've interacted with personally who are caught in a bind where they don't want to pay the ransom. And to be fair to them, some of them have mustered up enough courage and said, I'm not going to pay, I'll deal with the consequences. And the consequences typically are they've got to rush, they've got to fortify their infrastructure right. as quickly as they can, they've got to go make sure there are backups available. If their business gets impacted, they're going to bring it back up and run their business again. So we're beginning to see a set of CEOs and CIOs make that decision and be brave enough to say, I'm going to stand up against this. Right. In some cases, the impact is so large and they're mean time to get back up is so high that they succumb and they end up paying ransomware. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.